this is practice day of the Victorian State Championships 2022. We are lining up on the southerly runway. It's about 15 knots from the south today. Not the best conditions, anyone that knows the, the region. Generally, you don't go flying when you go to southerly, but it's a practice day. We're going to practice uh, the GP style of race that we've got uh, going for this comp. Um, we've got open class lined up at the back here. With a, there's a duo discus, uh, Ventus 2CX 18 meter, a couple of ASG 29s, um, and a JS1. I'll walk down the back of it so you can see. Um, we've then got 15 meter slash standard as a class. Uh, um, there's a few gliders in that. I'll point those out as well. And then a very big club class contingent. And uh, they're still just taxiing out at the moment. This is this is gridding at the moment, so we're all setting up about uh, half an hour until the first launch. So that was the back row. Uh, one more here in 18 open. X-ray Tanga Kilo, I think we all know who that is. And then the start of 15 meter slash standard. We're gonna be flying with water. <laughs> Probably not much today, it's a bit weak, but um, that's their class. We've got a, a Ventus B, an LS3A, ASW28, and LS7. We've got a SW24 and an LS8, all 15 metre slash standard in that second class. They're all a little bit mixed up because uh, then we've got the, the start of club class in front of them. Where there's a big mix, we've got uh, the LS3A here in club class. There's a DG1001 Neo couple of K21s, one over here, one out this way. A few more coming out. All up about 30 gliders in the comp. Here's the last of the club class gliders. LS4. Very nice one too, a V model. You might be able to see the four tow planes behind that. Three pointies and a Calair. And the last club class have arrived. Stand Jantar 2. We've got a, a Ventus BT in club class. We've got a Hornet here. Very nice one at that. And that's the view back. About four or five rows in places. How you doing, Al? Good. Janus is out here in the pick. Team to watch here, Mark Bland and uh, Peter Kingston in the 21. No, I'll probably save myself probably 20, 30 hours. <laughs> and here's the LS7 I'm taking. Alright, it's warm enough. Tugs are here. First launch just about to begin. I'll launch one glider, then head back to mine, get get in and get ready. Right, we're in the glider. 
we're all set up. Close the canopy in a second. Here's the, here's the task sheet. Uh, I've got it all programmed in my logger here. About 153 kilometers, um, 90 knot ground speed start, and we're heading out to the northeast, back to the west, finishing, coming back from Glen Rowan, and then from the east. We're going to have a howling southerly, there's about 15 knots currently, and there might be 20 knots from the south on uh, coming back towards the end of the task. We'll see if we even go to complete it. I think the objective today should be not outland uh, because it's a uh, just a practice day. It's currently 1.15, be launching soon. Task start about 2 p.m. We'll hear that on the radio. Otherwise, yes, got full ballast just for the launch. We'll see if we can stay up. We might need to dump a bit to, uh, to even do this task. Right, here we are at the front. We're ready to go. One launch happening over on the right. Last one before us. We're gonna get Papa into Juliet, which is nice. That's the high powered tug. Here we go. So as it turned out, it ended up being a little more difficult um, than expected today. I spent a good half hour just trying to stay airborne, let alone start the task. And once I did, it was quite late in the day and I was never going to be able to complete it. So I stayed pretty local, practiced thermaling um, in these kind of weak broken conditions, but still close enough to the field so I could make it back and prevent the outlanding, which would have been quite a chore on the practice day although I did end up still going on a couple of retrieves this evening to help others out of paddocks. I had originally planned to make an upload every single day of this competition 
However, I found the time kind of got away, so I've got a couple videos I'll upload over the next few days, uh, just kind of summarizing what went on during the event and a few highlights, so stay tuned.